because without you and without many, many other people that contribute in many ways, we wouldn't be able to do the projects that we do. We wouldn't be able to get the grant funding that we bring into this area. And so what I want to do is quickly go through some of the people um, and some of the organizations that have worked with us in the past year. And I know that I've probably forgotten people, and those errors are all mine, so if I've forgotten you or your organization, I apologize up front. But we do appreciate everyone who helps us and everyone who collaborates with us, and so this is all about some of you. One of the big projects this year was the Pilgrim River. I mentioned that earlier, and we had many volunteers. And here uh, presenting is Bill Rose who is professor of geology, and he worked with us on geology, not just for the Pilgrim River, but he also supported our efforts in Bay Degree. Also shown in this photo is our Pilgrim River Watershed Advisory Council, and that's a whole bunch of constituents of the Pilgrim River, people from units of government, landowners, conservation people, people that have industry in the watershed, that all participated in meetings to help create Pilgrim River uh, Watershed Management Plan. Um, and to the side there, you'll also see uh, three women that are tech students, they're engineering students. They volunteer their time um, as part of the project. And they actually work closely with Kimona Land Trust and Evan McDonald in particular that were um, partners in the Pilgrim River Watershed. So you've got, you see Meryl, Bonnie, and Julia, and uh, I think at least I know Meryl's here, and some of the other ones may be here later. Um, Michigan Tech did a lot of fine work with us, and this is Rod Chimner. Rod Chimner is presenting to the Watershed Committee. He uh, did the wetland study with his, stu his students that helped inform the Pilgrim River, River Watershed. There's Casey Huckins doing field work with his students. They also participated in the Pilgrim River Watershed. And one of the great supporters on a purely volunteer basis of the Pilgrim River watershed and many of our projects is Trout Unlimited. And this photo shows the Trout Unlimited sponsored group doing a macro invertebrate survey on the Pilgrim River. And there's lots of people that help with this. Um, you can see Sean Hagen and I know um, Bill Deephouse and Tom Rosich and many, many other Trout Unlimited members contributed in many ways. Um, Tom Rosich was super in helping us uh, do the Pilgrim River, and you can see him with uh, our engineer, our project engineer, Rob Ajo, and then you can see Tom um, showing some macroinvertebrates. But Tom was a, a lifesaver on the Pilgrim River project. Another project that we worked on for the last probably two and a half to three years was supporting Eagle Harbor Township's effort to preserve the top of Rockway Mountain. And so this photo was taken on the top of Rockway Mountain. That uh, grant with the Michigan Natural Resources Trust Fund closed in February, and so the township then acquired the top of Rockway, 320 acres. And a lot of people have always thought that it was public, but they didn't know it was private. Now it truly is public, and it will be open into perpetuity for um, everyone to use. So that's Brockway Mountain, and the district supported that effort. And one of the big things that the district did, and here's a couple of our sturdy workers. One's Sue Harrelson, our, our administrator, but the other is Dana Richter. And I think that, I don't think Dana's here tonight, but everybody ought to know that Dana Richter is the one who wrote almost all of the thank you letters for all of the private donations, the 25% match that had to be raised for the Rockway Mountain Project. Dana was the letter writer, and Sue was the one who made the, the thank you cards and, and addressed the envelopes. So uh, many thanks to people that do all kinds of jobs to help these projects succeed. And I guess, I think it's important. I think they raised almost $200,000 in private funds for Broadway Mountain. So it was a big, a big chunk. <coughs> Tree sale. Um, I think you all, or most of you know, that the Conservation District, while it still is part of the state of Michigan, we no longer receive any money to keep the doors open. And so all of the money that keeps our doors open is created through the tree sale. And uh, we have another tree sale coming up in May. And as Sue's got
got order forms somewhere here, I think, right, sir? Yeah, I On the table, so if you haven't already gotten an order form, Peace Hill's what keeps our doors open. And there's Sue with some volunteers at the arena, and you can see the orders in the background. And there's uh, Sue and a bunch of her conscripted workers um, at the tree sale.